when you want a little shimmer girl this is a great blush hi everyone welcome back it's Melissa and today I'm going to be doing the next uh, declutter video and it is going to be all of my single pan blushes so let's go ahead and jump into the products okay let's get started you know I didn't really think I was that much of a blush girl until I started putting everything into a bucket and uh, really discovering how much I actually had which was a lot more than I thought I had I don't have a ton of brand loyalty I probably have the most over here in these stick cream uh, blushes and some of these tart blushes so I'm gonna go ahead and start with those Let's start with the Tarte blushes. I have three Tarte blushes. These are the Amazonian Clay 12 hour blushes and I have Exposed. Exposed, which is a fabulous neutral. I'm definitely keeping this. This is True Love, which is a little bit more of a coral shade which I don't really reach for that much and actually I think this was one that Kate gave me that she wasn't using so I may return it back to her and see if she wants it I just don't know about that one so I'm putting that one over here probably not keeping and then this last one is in the shade flush which is a really pretty bright um, like magenta shade which is pretty dark but applied with a light hand it's I it, this appeals to me a little bit more than the corally one so I'm probably gonna hold on to it then I also have this colored clay bronzer blush so this is just like multiple colors that you swirl together a bronzy look that's it here and I like this so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this next up are these Maybelline master glaze stick blushes they are a roll-up cream style blush and I am so sad they discontinued these these are awesome so the first shade is just pinched pink and this is almost like a neutral it just it goes on so beautifully it gives you just a nice beautiful gentle flush of color love it I actually have some backups of this because it's awesome probably my favorite followed by this one which is make a mauve which is just a little bit deeper yeah it's been cloudy all morning and now the Sun has come out to totally screw with my lighting so the last two are a little bit brighter this is Pink Fever. And Coral Sheen. I'm probably going to get rid of Coral Sheen. I just don't really like corals on me. So I'm going to move that over into what's be quickly becoming the coral pile and I am probably going to still keep this even though it's probably my third favorite out of that grouping. So I did pick these up because I thought they might be a good replacement for these Master Glaze. Um, they're a slightly different concept. These are really called a multi bomb, and you can use them on your lips and your cheeks. I don't love them on the lips so for me they're really just a cheek color. This first shade is called Wild Rose and this one is really pretty terrific. I love this one. Um, this one is called Soft Strawberry and it's just a little too bright for me. So I am gonna move that into the discard pile. Alright, sticking with the drugstore, I'm gonna move on to what I think are the last couple of drugstore blushes that I have. I'm gonna start with this one from Milani and this is one of their baked blushes in Dolce Pink, which 
is probably one of my favorite blushes. It is just a beautiful sheer pink with a little bit of shimmer to it, a little bit of a golden shimmer underneath. Um, just gives you a beautiful soft glow. I love this. It's really one of my favorite blushes. Next up is this cream blush from Revlon. This is called Smitten Enterprise. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. So I'll probably keep it. I don't think it's better than these little dudes here, but um, I own it, so I think I'll hold on to it a little bit longer. And the last one is this Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with this because it's supposed to be a dupe for orgasm. Let's see if it is. So this is, I hope this is coming up. This is the Wet n Wild and this is the NARS Orgasm. The NARS Orgasm is a little bit pinker. This is a little bit more of a dusty color. So is it a dupe? Maybe when you apply it on your cheeks, it looks the same, but um, I'm not so sure. I never reach for this because, call me a snob, it's drugstore. I have so many other blushes that I've paid a lot more money for that I really like. So um, I'm going to see, I'm going to pass this along. Next up, I'm going to talk about this little one from Josie Marin. It's the Coconut Water Cheek Gelée. I really loved this. I think it's a great product, but mine is totally dried up. It was a great blush for during the summer because it's very cooling, very light on the skin. I would definitely consider buying more of these uh, in the summertime because they're just a really lovely formula. All right, let's talk about NARS. I have, I have two little NARS, two NARS blushes. Uh, this one, which I can't, this one, which I really can't pronounce, the gluey, you figure it out. It was uh, the birth, part of the birthday gift from Sephora last year, and it's very pretty. So I will keep this. It's just a beautiful blush, and I like the NARS formula. Really pretty, so that I'm keeping. Plus, it's a great little small size for traveling. That's awesome. This shade is called Lovejoy. I've had this a couple of years, and it doesn't look really that appealing in the pan. Every time I open it up, I go, oh, why, why do I have this even? But I love the way it looks on my skin. It's like a, bl uh, like a bronzy, pinky, mauve color. It's awesome. I really love this. Next up is this little box blush from Benefit. It's the Rockateur. I'm sure you're all really familiar with it. I love this blush. It's a great mauve blush with a little shimmer to it, and I've hit pan on it. Um, so I love these little box blushes. I've had other ones that I've really enjoyed. This is just a good kind of punchy neutral so definitely keeping this. All right, I'm gonna jump over to this one from ColourPop. And I picked this up as part of a ColourPop haul. I was testing the brand. This is the shade Never Been Kissed. And I wanted to pick up something that was a little bit different from what I had in my makeup collection. So it's a little bit brighter. Um, it's, it's a pretty bright shade for me. And I feel like it has dried out a little bit. So I'm gonna get rid of it. I really almost never reach for it. And I have other blushes that I like better. It's not bad. It's just not my favorite. Okay, in this little pouch from Kevin Aquan, or Kevin, however you say it, is this really bright orangey shade that I got in a Lucky Box. The shade is called Freya, uh, or Mango. Again, this is one of those corally blushes. Oh my God, so, so bright. Too bright for me. I can make it work, but it's not even a shade tone that I really care for. Uh, it's a little too corally for me, and I never reach for it. I've worn it like maybe two or three times. Holy guacamole, this is a pigmented blush, so if you, have a darker complexion and you really have blush a trouble with blush showing up on your skin I would definitely say check it out 
if this in, is in your budget. So next up from Marc Jacobs is the Lines in Last Night Air Blush. This is a little bit more um, of a corally undertone, but it has some pink in it and it works for me a little bit better. I wish I had picked a different shade. Too bad. I'm going to keep it for now. I paid a lot of money for it and so I'm going to try and use it a little bit more. And oh my gosh, I'm, I just still love the Marc Jacobs packaging. So next up from IT Cosmetics is their Vitality Cheek Flush and this is in Radiant Rose which is a beautiful mauve rosy color. This is like my go-to kind of shade. It's very pretty. However, I have this from IT Cosmetics that I really love and this is the CC Radiance Ombre Blush in Sugar Plum which let's just do a little compare. They're very similar. I'm going to do a straight up swatch of the colors. And I think I'm just going to keep this one because I, holy cow, love this. And this, I don't find myself reaching so much for. And I think Kate might get some use out of it. So I'm going to see if she's interested in it. And I am totally turning pink even cleaning off my hands. All right, next up is this Clinique ColourPop in Berry Pop. Oh, just take a moment. I think this packaging and the flower is stunning. For that alone, I would probably keep it. It's a pretty color. It's probably more of like a summer color because it's a little bright, but it still um, works well. So I'm definitely going to keep it. I just think they knocked it out of the park with that packaging and I really love it. This little is a, this is a little sample blush from Bare Minerals. It's their Ready Blush in the shade Natural High, which is a great little travel blush. I'd say this might even be close to a dupe for orgasm. And I like the uh, blushes from Bare Minerals. I think they make a beautiful blush. So I am going to keep it because sometimes size does matter and you want something really small for your makeup bag. And so I will keep it for that reason. And the last two are some shimmery blushes. One is from Becca, a luminous blush in the shade Snapdragon, which this is a really pretty blush. Again, this is where I would go if I wanted something a little bit on the coral side, but a pinky coral. So this suits me a little bit more. I really like this. So I'm definitely keeping this. And the last one is this Shimmer Brick from Bobbi Brown in Rose. When you want a little shimmer girl, this is a great blush. It's very um, sheer and it's nice. If you are someone who tends to over blush, that's me, um, something like this is really great. I'm trying to just build it up a little bit so you can actually see the color and I love it for that and it gives a great shimmer so this is one I'm definitely keeping. So I'm getting rid of eight and I'm keeping I think 17 which still sounds like a lot to me. I may actually move this over. So I'm getting rid of nine, keeping 16 and I'm calling it a day. So I also want to wrap up with what I'm wearing today because there were a lot of hand shots. This uh, nail polish is the ha Sally Hansen uh, quick dry formula and this is in the shade Mauve It. I have fallen back in love with that formula. I used to own quite a bit of it, wore it quite often. I love how quick and easy it is to apply and right now that's kind of suiting my schedule. And I picked up a few new bottles and this is one of them and I really think it's so pretty. It's one of the prettiest pinks I own that I feel doesn't look too bump bubble gummy. I'm also testing a few face products that I just recently picked up. This one is from Paula's Choice and it's the new Resist Anti-Aging Serum Foundation. and looks like this and mine is level two. I am wearing it. It does have a nice little pump. It's very liquidy and uh, I'm still forming an opinion on this so I'm not really ready to talk too much about it but that is what I'm wearing. And then I also picked up the two Pixie It's Duty Time palettes. Uh, this is the eyeshadow palette and then this is the lip palette. I don't own much color cosmetics from Pixie, which is what 
uh, interests me about these two things and I think Judy does a really good job in picking very wearable colors for the everyday woman. You know, I'm enjoying them. I'm also still forming an opinion on these. I haven't had them very long. Uh, I am wearing this like taupey shade on my lid today and I think it's called Ping on my lips. I'm wearing this one down here and it's sultry. You know, these kind of things, it's hard to know. Is it, forget it. <laughs> hard to know what color they're talking about. That's why I'm pointing. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you real soon in my next video.